Now let's look at roots and coefficients of a equation. So again that would depend on the type of equation we are talking of. So in case of a linear equation which is ax plus b equal to 0 and here remember a is not equal to 0 x would be equal to minus b by a. So this is the root in terms of the coefficients root in terms of coefficients okay now a straight line which is what a linear equation represents a straight line intersects the x-axis only once if at all that means uh, it may not intersect the x-axis if it is parallel to x-axis okay now mm, the graph may look something like this at some point it will intersect x-axis okay now let's look at quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 now in this case let the roots be alpha and beta then alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and alpha beta is equal to c by a so this is the sum of the roots this is the product of the roots so given the sum and product of the roots we can figure out the equation so say alpha plus beta is equal to minus 5 by 3 and alpha beta is equal to 7 by 3 remember this is minus b by a and this is c by a right so which means we can write the equation we can write the equation using minus b is equal to minus 5 which means b equal to 5 a equal to 3 and c equal to 7 and what is the general form of the equation ax square ax square plus bx plus 5x plus c that is 7 equal to 0 so that is the equation also x minus if, if alpha and beta are the roots we can say let me write it properly um, we can say x minus alpha and x minus beta are the factors of the quadratic equation yes which means we can write it as x minus alpha times x minus beta is equal to 0 right so which means if we expand this we get x square minus alpha x minus beta x plus alpha beta equal to 0 this can be written as minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta equal to 0 or in other words remember we know the sum of the uh, roots is minus b by a minus b by a x we know alpha beta the product of the roots is c by a so x square plus b by a x plus c by a equal to 0 now we multiply throughout by a what do we get a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 so we got back the equation so using our example where sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equal to um, 5 by 3 and alpha beta is equal to 7 by 3 so x square plus 5 by 3 x plus 7 by 3 equal to 0 
multiply throughout by 3 we get 3x square plus 5x plus 7 equal to 3 3x square plus 5x plus 7 equal to 0 so that is the quadratic equation and graphically if you look at it uh, since there are two roots it has to cross the um, x-axis um, at two places actually speaking if you think about it it may cross it may not cross at all or it may just touch the x-axis so basically it could be like this without touching the other is just touching at one point and the third is when it actually goes down so here you have an intersection here you have a intersection okay another thing you have to remember is that because here squares are involved higher degrees are involved than one it means the roots could be imaginary so here roots can be imaginary or real or a combination of real roots and complex roots okay now let's look at uh, cubic root cubic equation cubic equation so that is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equal to 0 again remember here a is not equal to 0 and let's say alpha beta and gamma are the roots of the equation then we know that alpha no not alpha x minus alpha x minus beta x minus gamma are the factors of the equation of the left hand side actually if you to be precise of the left hand side of the equation so which means x square which means we can write this as x minus alpha x minus beta x minus gamma is equal to 0 now let's expand this x square minus alpha x minus beta x plus alpha beta times x minus gamma equal to 0 let's again expand so x cube minus gamma x square minus alpha x square plus alpha gamma x minus beta x square plus beta gamma x plus alpha beta x minus alpha beta gamma equal to 0 just applying the distribution okay now let's find common so x square x square let's use a straight line x square x square this this right so which means this equation can be written as x cube minus alpha plus beta plus gamma x plus alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha x and finally alpha beta gamma is equal to 0 okay now we have this equation we have uh, our equation ax cube plus um, bx square plus cx plus d equal to 0 let's multiply it by 1 by a or rather divide by a what do we get we get divide by a divide by a divide by a so a cancels out and what we are left with x cube plus b by a x square plus c by a x plus d by a equal to 0 now what we are going to do is 
we are going to compare the coefficients of x cube x square x and the constant okay now here it is 1 here it is 1 here it is 1 so nothing um, x cube equal to x cube kind of thing so we are not interested in that but you will find this interesting alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to what actually this is minus alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to b by a this is a much more interesting relationship so which implies that alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a okay then we have alpha beta beta gamma alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to is equal to c by a here so c by a and since there is no minus sign that is what it is and what else is left is alpha beta gamma is equal to minus alpha beta gamma is equal to d by a or which implies that alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by a okay now if you are familiar with that cyclic notation which we'll look at in more detail later uh, in the cyclic notation this can be written as alpha is equal to minus b by a yes this can be written as alpha beta is equal to c by a so therefore alpha summation is equal to minus b by a summation of alpha beta is equal to c by a and we have alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by a now let's take a, a simple example let's say 3x cube minus 7x square minus 5x 8 equal to 0 now here sum of alpha that is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to what minus b by a so minus minus 7 by 3 similarly sum of alpha beta which is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is c by a so minus 5 by 3 and this becomes 7 by 3 and then we have alpha beta gamma is equal to d by a, minus d by a so minus 8 by okay now let's go in reverse given this let's arrive at the equation so we know gamma uh, sum of alpha is equal to 7 by 3 which is equal to minus b by a so which implies that b by a is equal to minus 7 by 3 all right alpha beta is equal to c by a no minus 5 by 3 which is equal to c by a which implies that c by a is equal to minus 5 by 3 and this is this is not this this is alpha beta gamma equal to minus 8 by 3 which is minus d by a so which implies d by a is equal to 8 by okay so the equation becomes uh, x cube plus b by a x square plus c by a x plus d by a equal to 0 so which means x cube minus 7 by 3 x square minus 5 by 3 x plus 8 by 3 equal to 0 now divide and uh, multiply throughout by 3 we get 3x cube minus 7x square minus 5x plus 8 equal to 0 so given the uh, 
you know the relationship between the roots and the coefficients we can figure out the equation okay and finally let's look at um, quartic equations so here again we have x to the power of 4 a x to the power of 4 plus b x cube plus c x square plus d x plus e equal to 0 now let's uh, divide through by a we get x to the power of 4 plus b by a x cube plus c by a x square plus d by a x plus e by a equal to 0 okay now let alpha beta gamma and delta be the roots so the factors would become factors of LHS would be x minus alpha x minus beta x minus gamma x minus delta okay so which means the product of these factors would be equal to 0 so x minus alpha times x minus beta times x minus gamma x minus delta equal to 0 now if we do the multiplication if we multiply all these factors we get x to the power of 4 minus alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta x cube alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha beta plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus gamma delta x square and minus alpha beta gamma plus alpha beta delta plus beta gamma delta plus alpha gamma delta x and finally alpha beta gamma delta equal to 0 so again what we are going to do is we are going to equate the coefficients so in case of x to the power of 4 it is 1 1 so we can ignore that but when it comes to x cube minus alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is equal to b by a which means alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is equal to minus b by a. in case of x square we have and remember by the way that this can be written as using cyclic notation okay now this is uh, a little bit lengthy one uh, but uh, let me actually write it alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha hmm, alpha beta twice this should not be beta alpha beta alpha gamma and alpha delta delta plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus gamma delta is equal to c by a in short we can write this as sum of alpha beta is equal to c by a now in case of x it is alpha beta gamma plus alpha beta delta plus beta gamma delta plus alpha gamma delta x now x we don't need to write we are talking of coefficients is equal to d by a 
so in other words alpha beta gamma plus alpha beta delta plus beta gamma delta plus alpha gamma delta is equal to minus d by a and remember this can be written as alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by a and in case of x to the power of 0 this is going to be alpha beta gamma delta is equal to e by a okay you actually write, need to write this and practice so that you get comfortable with alpha beta gamma and you know uh, and the way in which it is rep represented Just especially converting this form into this form okay anyhow that's it for today bye for now